Hi, welcome to a video of my few finds for the weekend of uh, October 12th uh, and 13th, 2019. So, uh, a Saturday, um, Saturday, Saturday, the 12th of October 2019, I stopped at the yard sale and got these shelving units, which I, I need eventually for my basement to put all my stuff in when I organize my basement. So these were about, uh, let me think, 15 inches deep by uh, 6 feet high, and these two were about 30 inches wide, and the smaller one there was about 20 inches wide. I got these two for $10 each and that one for $5 each. So I spent a big part of the, uh, the afternoon making room in the basement to put those two and that one we shot in the corner of the kitchen in the meantime. Sunday, uh, and, and by the way this weekend was an amazing uh, Indian summer weekend. Indian summer is my favorite uh, season and uh, I was very lucky to be able to enjoy some of it with a wonderful sun and anyway so that's why I got up early uh, Sunday to go to the flea market first thing I spotted and I did not buy this I only took pictures um, I took pictures there actually I had to go back to take pictures for a friend and it um, uh, turns out well it's way too expensive for what it is this is a wooden this, this, this is folk art and somebody uh, made this out of uh, a wooden frame the 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 the, the bottom is uh, empty and painted of course reproduced a frosted flakes box but uh, this was how big was it it was 29 sh inches wide by 11 inches uh, deep by 39 inches high but it was 150 dollars so i left it there and i've asked my friend and it was too much for him i understand Especially, it's not when you look at it closely. Even even on the photo, you can see that it's like meh, a little bit shaky. But from far away, it looks amazing. It looks like a giant uh, box of cereal. Whoa! Took okay, several pictures. Some are not very good. So uh, that was before my first purchase, which uh, turned out to be something uh, I needed. I finally, got into the habit of flossing every day. It's about time. I have gingivitis and I was uh, getting close to getting the next uh, step, uh, I don't know what the English word is, parodontit in French, anyway, but uh, so I said, okay, that, that does it, because I suck at flossing, but I said, better floss badly than not at all. I got, anyway, these were uh, 50 meters each, 54 yards, RLB, mostly with mint, but I got the few left that, what, that didn't have mint, they were... Uh, let me think. How much were they? Three for two dollars. Yeah, three for two dollars. So I got thirty of them for twenty bucks. I'm good for a, a while. I use a little bit less than a meter per night. Next uh, thing I bought was this uh, stopwatch for five bucks. Yay! I love showing off my talent to punch in uh, fra seconds or fraction of seconds. Uh, within a margin of error of one tenth of a second. Like I said that I'm used to do it with my... I'll just demonstrate. I haven't practiced before filming this, so I might be off a bit, but look. This is a second. So 0.99, not bad. And half a second is 0.52. Quarter of a second, 0.25 on the nose. One third of a second, 0.36. Only uh, three... Uh, one hundred dollars. Anyway, there we go. So I got this for five bucks. Pretty, pretty uh, happy about that. Then I got um, two plushies. So this one I, get, I had to, e even if I hate the eyes looking to the side, decide I'm going to fix it either with uh, liquid paper and or or um, uh, sticker, white sticker, and I'm going to use a, a black marker to make uh, both eyes like look uh, in the middle. Uh, but it's Saint Subai. To buy by Saint Spire Barbecue, like his little tummy and uh, his tail, not pretty cute. It was five bucks, and because it was five bucks, and I saw this one, Sam to Sam uh, to Ken Sam for Fruit Loops. This was also five bucks, so I said, "How about eight for both?" And he said, "Yes." So they they're four dollars each. And then I got another table. A lady had like cool things, and she she was oh, undercharging for her stuff. This is a rare 
Kozel, uh, released in uh, mid 60s by the record French Canadian label Trans Canada. Uh, they had puzzles, uh, uh, real life, like 12 inch by 12 inch reproductions of record covers and a list of who they released. This is probably, according to what I see here, the second coolest one that they, they made. The other one would have been uh, Des Baronets with uh, René Angelin and that. Anyway. Uh, don't know yet if all the pieces are there, then count them because it says approximately uh, 200 pieces and I of course don't have time to do the puzzle. And when I open the box, and the box is in really great shape, and uh, there was a record inside, uh, no name here, uh, France Janet, une jolie chanson d'amour, and à ton mariage, France Janet. They're, they're on YouTube, those two songs. In good shape, but it's a uh, eh, record, no, it's free. It was in the box, so I got this puzzle for five dollars, which was really under uh, under value. And um, the same table, I saw something else I could not leave behind. I just had to get it. Boom. Amazing! It's a uh, it, it's it's a, uh, a Jello mold, and it says free with purchase of three boxes of Berry Blue Jello. Just poof, I, I had to, I, I couldn't leave that behind, and it was also just five bucks. So a lot of things were five bucks. She was too lazy to come up with prices, but yeah, she, she could have uh, charged more. So I had to get this rare thing. I'll never see that again. So uh, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.